Okay, everybody, here we are. Uh, we're going to seed our cells on top of the hydrogels that we made the other day and see which ones promote uh, adhesion a little better. Um, and so I've already prepped everything out pretty well, and so this is something you would also do uh, as you're uh, planning your experiment. You would get everything in here. I've already, like, written labels, so I'm going to put some cells in that new flask, so I've already labeled it. I've labeled my 15 mil tubes. Uh, while I'm waiting for, uh, like, my trips into thaw and my media to heat up. So we're just getting ready so that we don't have a lot of, you know, waiting around doing nothing. Um, and so now everything is ready. I think my stuff's heated. So let's go ahead and start the experiment. So first things first, I'm going to get, yes, we're melted on the trips. I'm going to get the trips in and the media and PBS out. Remember, I like to spray these really well because it comes out of the possibly nasty water. Spray off my hands. Okay, if you're wondering, I have this in there as a liquid waste um, beaker that when we aspirate the liquid out of here, we're going to put it into here. The aspirator is just too strong. It would ruin the gel, so we just use the... Uh, I pets to do the aspiration, so we have to get rid of the liquid someplace, and that goes in there. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, passage these cells. Um, I, I don't need a ton uh, for this experiment. I'm going to let you guys do the math on how many you need, so I'm not going to try to use numbers. Um, but I looked at these. It's like 50-ish percent confluent, um, and so that's plenty of cells for here and to seed some more. I'll probably seed 50 to 100,000 in this new flask. Um, so I don't know. I probably have 800,000 to a million cells in there. Uh, you know, we can we can test how good my guessing is uh, when we actually do the count in a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to passage cells. Very careful. We get the media out. The next step is to wash with PBS. I hope everybody remembers why we wash it with PBS. We wash because some of the, the protein in the serum will inactivate trypsin, right? So we want to make sure we have all the media, all the serum off the cells uh, before we throw trypsin in there and have a chance of it being inactivated. Okay, just kind of wash it off a little bit. Aspirate. And now we're going to put the trypsin on here for 30 seconds. Just four mils of trypsin should be plenty. I'm going to just make sure I mix the trypsin really well, because sometimes all the, the good enzymes will settle to the bottom. Okay, make sure it coats all the surfaces, and then I'll just start to count my head. All right, that's close enough to 30. Aspirate off the trypsin, and we'll put it in the incubator for like three, three and a half minutes, so the trypsin can do its job. In the meantime, uh, I know I'm going to seed some cells in this new flask, so I'm going to go ahead and put media in there now. And so what happens is, when you put media in there, the proteins from the media start to attach to the flask, and that's what the cells attach to. So if you stick media in there and just give it a chance to sit before putting the cells in, the proteins will start to absor absorb 
uh, and then the cells will more quickly attach. So I'm going to put like 12, 13, I might as well put 13 of those media in here. Make sure it gets all parts. Okay, so it's been pretty close to three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cells. And we're going to look at them in a microscope to make sure they've detached well first. And we just give them a little bit of a love tap to make sure that they uh, let go of the bottom. Right, so you can see we have some cells that are floating. That looks good. I'll give them another tap so you can see them. All right, so you can see we have floating cells, so that's a good sign. Yeah, so that wasn't a ton of cells, so I don't want to put these at too dense of a um, mixture. I think I'll just do like six mils. Media, and so we do want to be pretty accurate on this measurement of media because this is how we're going to calculate how many total cells we have. So I want six. I can actually stop this by dropping, by uh, dripping by like holding it up back a little bit so there's just a little bubble there. Uh, and that will help because you saw this is a very drippy pipetter. Okay, I'll put that in there. Wash it around, suck it up again, and just kind of make sure I get all the cells. Any that were maybe partially stuck, we're just trying to give it a little, a little more mechanical encouragement to come off. Okay, so we're not too concerned about this flask anymore. Uh, I'm going to put my cells in here. I'm going to mix them. I want a good homogenous mixture when I count and when I feed. Okay, that's pretty good. I ended up blowing some bubbles in there, which is not nice. Okay, so first thing I do need to do is count. I'm going to get 200 or 20 microliters to count with. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure I get a good mix. Suck up 20 microliters. You want to do this, you want to make sure you get it all the way down and touch the bottom so that it, it gets the liquid down into the bottom. Okay, and we'll count these, and that way we'll know how much to seed. Okay, already set up on counting here. I have one of these set up at 20, and one of these set up at 10. So we need to mix uh, 20 microliters of tripan blue with the 20 microliters of cell suspension to make a 2 to 1 mixture. I'm going to mix it fairly well to make sure it's homogenized. Okay, and now I need 10 microliters to put into my hemocytometer. Yeah, I'm going to mix a little bit before I do that. And it goes in there nicely. Okay, so I'll let you guys count by taking some pictures. All right, so these are the counts from the four corners of our hemocytometer side. So I'm going to have you guys go ahead and do the count and res report the results on a quiz on Canvas. Um, just, it's, I know it's hard to see necessarily all these cells, but I think there's only one cell in all these pictures that's uh, non-viable shown by the tripan blue. And that's this cell down on the bottom left picture. And then you have some blue just 
crap in the, the bottom right picture that you don't have to worry about. But I think all the other things that look like cells are actually viable cells. So we can count those as living. Okay, finally, there's this other little thing where there's actually two cells right there rather than just one. I know that's maybe hard to see on the video as well. So go ahead and do the math to calculate uh, how many cells we have and take the quiz. And then we can pick up with the next video um, with our cell seeding.